hi friends let's solve this uh, typical problem on uh, divergence theorem <coughs> so here it is given uh, a vector field that is uh, d equals to its x component is 2 multiplied with x plus y and its y component is uh, 3x minus uh, 2y now here it is also given that the the statement of uh, uh, I mean uh, the both sets of uh, divergence theorem this is divergence theorem actually so let's prove step by step uh, the left part of the divergence theorem as well as the right part of the divergence theorem and um, of course uh, both the terms should be same then only we can say that divergence theorem is uh, proved so and the question it is said that uh, the region enclosed in a cube 2 meter on a side located in the first octant with the three sides three of its side coincident with the x y and uh, z axis so let's plot that kind of a cube so here is the cube which is having a side of uh, 2 meters and uh, this is the x-axis and this is the z-axis and this is this is gonna be y-axis so this is a uh, origin this is a uh, x value 2 meters this is a y value 2 meters so simply there are uh, six uh, differential surfaces can exist here so the first differential surface ds1 in the direction of positive x direction which is equals to d y d z this surface is located at x is equals to 2 meters at the same time the differential surface 2 which is exactly opposite to the surface 1 that is nothing but negative sign of uh, x direction dy dz this is located x is equal to 0 meters and the surface 3 is located in the positive y direction that is ds3 is a positive y direction dx dz this is located at y is equal to 2 meters and a ds4 is opposite to the positive y direction that is a negative dx dz in the negative y, y direction this surface is located at 0 meters of y and ds5 is located in positive z direction that is dx dy this is located at z is equal to 2 meters same as a ds6 is located at negative z direction dx dy and this is located at z is equal to 0 meters now let's take the left side part of the divergence theorem which is a closed surface integral of uh, the vector field uh, d so this can decompose into various differential surface integrals such as uh, d dot ds1 d dot ds2 d dot ds3 so on d dot ds6 however ds65 and ds6 are pointing in the direction of positive z direction and negative z direction but there is no positive z direction term or negative z direction term in the vector field d so we can simply make uh, those two integrals to zero analytically so now let's solve one by one d dot ds1 which is uh, in a positive z direction so the the vector field in a uh, positive x direction is 
2 multiplied with x plus y dy dz y is equals to 0 to 2 and z is equals to 0 to 2 so this surface is located at x is equals to 2 meters so let's substitute uh, x is equals to 2 meters so it is at 2 plus y d y and dz so simply this is a uh, dz 2 plus y uh, dy both the integral limits are 0 to 2 so this is a clearly 4 multiplied with uh, 2y plus y square over 2 within the limits of 0 to 2 so this is a 4 multiplied with 4 plus 2 so clearly it is a 24 and similarly d dot ds2 is same integral limits 0 to 2 y is equals to 0 to 2 but there will be a negative term and it is a 2y dy dz because this surface is located at x is equal to 0 so simply substitute x is equal to 0 value over there so then you will get minus 2 integral dz integral y dy so which is uh, clearly equals to minus 2 multiplied with 2 multiplied with uh, 2 it is a minus 6 and uh, now the integral term uh, ds3 which is in the direction of a uh, positive y direction at y is equals 2 so clearly it is a uh, 3x minus 2y dx dz and this surface is located at y is equals to 2 meters so simply substitute that so which is equals to 3x minus 4 dx dz so clearly it is a dz 3x minus 4 dx so we'll get 2 multiplied with 3x square over 2 minus 4x within the limits of 0 to 2 so this is a 2 multiplied with 6 minus 8 so which is equals to clearly minus 4 and uh, uh, now let's go for uh, sorry oops let's go for uh, d dot ds4 which is a negative y direction so which is a 3x minus 2y within uh, tx tz so but this surface is located y is equal to 0 so it is a minus 3x dx and dz so which is equal to minus 3 multiplied with 2 and multiplied with 2 so which is a minus 12 so clearly it is a x square over 2 and uh, sorry the d dot, dot ds2 term will uh, is equals to minus 8 this is not minus 6 so sorry for the mistake now let's sum up all the terms so that is a 24 minus 8 minus 4 minus 12 is equals to 0 now let's go for a right side term of a divergence equation that is a del dot d sorry it is a del dot d over the volume integral dv so first let's calculate what is the del dot d it is a do over do x of uh, what is the term uh, x term is a, it is a 2 x plus y plus do over do y 3 x minus 2 y so clearly it is a 2 minus 2 
it is a zero so no need to calculate the volume integral it is clearly del dot d dv is zero because this term is going to zero so the both sides of the divergence theorem is verified thank you for watching please subscribe my channel